was a wood. In the wood, there was a huge tree. Under the tree, there was a hole. In the hole lived Mr. Fox and Mrs. Fox and their four small foxes. In England once there lived a big and wonderfully clever pig. To everybody it was plain that Piggy had a massive brain. He worked out sums inside his head. There was no book he hadn't read. He knew what made an aeroplane fly. He knew how engines worked and why. He knew all this, but in the end, one question drove him round the bend. He simply couldn't puzzle out what life was really all about. It's this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart on the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, his purple prickles all over his back. Oh help! Oh no! It's a gruffalo! Little Rabbit and his mother were sitting under a big flower petal. Look, said Little Rabbit, it stopped raining. Yes, said Mama Rabbit, soon we'll see a rainbow. What makes a rainbow? asked Little Rabbit. Why don't you ask your friends, said Mummy Rabbit. Ladybird, what makes a rainbow? asked Little Rabbit. Red, said Lady Red, gently closing her red wings. You need red to make a rainbow. As soon as Wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid grin. And Wolfie said, may I come in? Poor Grandmama was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried. He's walking with his teddy. Eddie's teddy's name is Freddy. Oh, Freddy, said Eddie with a great big sigh. I feel sad, but I don't know why. Freddy said nothing. Eddie sighed again. I wish you could talk, he said. And then, wow, look at that, up there on that stone. A giant teddy, all on his own. We've seen him before, he belongs to the bear. He lives around these woods somewhere.